wrong with my what's wrong with my Star Wars shirt? Why you always gotta dress like a little kid? I don't dress got, like a little kid. You do, you got like your inner kid. See, that's the problem I told you. You don't be like being authentic with my people that's following me. <laughs> like they need to see the authentic kid. You're a big ass kid, dude. Like Star Wars and all these superheroes, like you still keep that hope alive. You know, you got that inner kid we should always have. It's running strong. You know what? Too many of y'all get serious too for, for too long. That's your problem. I try not to hold that. You know, I don't hold that. You know, I don't walk in my feelings. You don't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't what? walk in your feelings. You shouldn't. I ain't holding that. You yeah. sit, sit outside. Yeah, some of y'all too serious, man. Seriously. Every time. He always get me going good and then want to start the video. I knew something was up. Nah, some of y'all be too doggone serious sometimes. You need to let all that go. Look, hey, we coming to y'all today to talk to y'all about, uh, you know, laying down some intentions for the future and giving yourself, you know, a little bit of leeway in there as well for not always being go so serious. Go easy on yeah, yourself. Go easy on yourself Don't when you're making so your intentions. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't. That's right. You, you just, yours were just, he be too hard on himself. And I'd be like, dude, you going like, you going ham. I'm good. I'm going to do this right here. And we're well, going to keep it moving. Uh, you know, I got a Star Wars shirt on. Look, I, I aim for the moon all the time. You know, I, I go in. So when I make a plan for something, I, I plan for it to take off, you know. Yeah, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. But Unrealistic. You know. <laughs> like, right. Right. And so... You know, that's something to keep in mind and something I've been working on myself when it comes to intentions is um, not putting a bunch of bullshit in there I ain't going to be able to do. You know, putting a bunch of stuff in there like, you know, I'm going to sit down and, and, and write a book in a week and, you know, publish it, this, that, and everything else. You, you got to be realistic with your intentions. You do. Yeah, right. Um... I have learned during this time, you know, I started this process way before this whole, you know, CV stuff was going on. And I've learned to just release the emotion mm -hmm. and go ahead and, and get it done. Because when you hold that, I don't see it. Spirit just be coming through and you can either humble or you could get ran the hell over. I choose not to get ran the hell over no more. You know, the, the markers are there. If we just pay attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I feel you. But I, like you said, I've run into the trap before of setting intentions and having expectations that don't line up with, you know, being honest with myself and, and, and really being open about, you know, what am I really going to do? Right? Not... In a perfect world, in a perfect situation, you know, I'm going to run four miles a day, work out ten times a day, X, Y, and Z, it's right? It's not realistic. What am I, be honest with yourself, what are you really going to do? What do you really have time to do? You know, what intentions are you setting forth? Are you planning on starting a business? Look at the economic environment around you. Look at your area around you. You know, how long is it going to take you to grow that business? Be real about it because, because. You may quit before you ever get started if you set your expectations incorrectly. You may have something very mm. successful that you are going to start. But if you keep putting in those intentions, I need this done in a month and it's going to take four months, five months, and you don't give yourself a real time plan, a scale, um, you're going to feel like you're failing all the time. And that beats up on you after a while. I th you know, I'm, I'm not... I personally have experience in knowing don't put a time frame on this. Mm -hmm. Please don't. Uh, this, you have people that have been in this process for years. Some, you know, get it quicker than others. Take your time. Yeah. Take yeah, it for definitely. what it is. Take your time and really observe get the lesson what the key thing that i look at now is in all things that i'm presented 
Mm -hmm. What am I gaining from this? Mm -hmm. That was... Well, but, but when you say gain, mm -hmm. how, how are you... What, what gain as far as what? You know, tangibly gaining. What are, what are we talking about? Why do you want... Because I think this is important. I think this is important so people understand when you set intentions and you have goals and you're trying to gain something... There's other things besides money is what I'm getting at for you the to obtain. The fulfillment, the joy mm -hmm. that emptiness as and I'm speaking for myself mm -hmm. from a INFJ empath perspective, we're always going to look for an underdog. We're always going to look for a purpose. What can we do to get back? And this is yeah, perfect yeah. platform. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You have to express your emotions. You have to be open. You have to open your heart. You have to be authentic. That's not materialistic. Right. This We live in... We are consumers. We consume... Everything is materialistic. Um, we are just upon this time that you have to sit with yourself. Can't go buy nothing. Yeah. Uh, stores are closing. Um, you have limited. So you have to sit and think about where your priorities go be. Yeah. And I think that's really important for, for another reason, which is be mindful that when you're setting your intentions and there's certain goals and there's certain things that you're attempting to accomplish, that monetary gain is not the ultimate goal or the end goal for all of these different things that you're setting. You know, if you say, I want to lose weight too, so that I can be a model on Instagram, so I can get this, so I can, you know, get that. Well, that's a lot of different things that are all you're asking for all at the same time. And it may not all necessarily be something that is going to come to fruition for you because they're not all going to be a gain or a benefit to you. If you say, well, I want to lose that weight so I can feel better, but then I also want to do this, but then I also want to do that. You know, you have to ensure that you're going to be happy and satisfied with the first point, which was I want to be healthy or I want to lose weight. And that you're not putting five or six different things all on one act or goal because you're kind of setting yourself up for failure is, what I'm, is kind of what I'm getting at. You have to be careful setting those intentions and kind of putting a lot of stuff I, I into one tight package like that. that. During the time where I was receiving chemo and all the steroids and everything, I was being unrealistic. I'm gonna lose 50 pounds. Like, right. okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get let me get everything right. As soon as I get done with this, then um, I'll be good. No, that process for that to get out of your system takes yeah. time. And upon that taking time, that's when I was like, okay, it's gonna take me, you know. Let me get, how long is it going to take me to get the steroids out? Yeah. It's a process. And then you go from there. You would start eliminating little by little. Yeah, because I don't know. I don't know how many people come and say, well, you know, I tried to set something out there. I set something forth and um, it didn't come to me. It didn't come my way. And now all of a sudden I'm throwing everything else away you know it's kind of like I quit I hate this you know I don't want to do this or I'm changing all this stuff or why did I make all these changes and I'm telling you if that's the underlying feeling that you have every time you're going to have a failure every time you're not that intention doesn't come in the time frame you want it that shit ain't gonna ever come I'm just gonna tell you straight up because there your time frame just ain't the same time frame as as the rest of the world and how things around you work and when ancestors are going to bring things to you Okay, it don't mean Our nothing. Our time frames are so off. And and I think that's the one thing I'm, I'm I'm trying to drill in here is be realistic about those time frames in the sense that you don't control it. Mm -hmm. That you have your part to play. You can do the things you need to do. 
but that doesn't mean that it's going to come exactly at the time you want it. We're not little children, so we should be able to understand this. But it's amazing how many people come to times. us and bring this up, and and we keep trying to tell them, look, you have to just play your Didn't role. I just make you a video, baby, <laughs> about assuming I made an ass out of my. Listen, mm -hmm. I don't do it very often, mm. but I assume that once I completed this part of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. I was going to be rewarded with X, Y, and Z. Yeah. I'm sitting, waiting, looking. Well, y'all said it's coming. Where is it? It's not in my time. It's not. You have to sit and you wait. We are on different levels, on different time frames. So just because you want it, you, yeah. I'm, it's not going to happen that quick. It's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll come though. You put the work in and it'll come. You put the work in, you keep working at it, you keep plugging away at it, it'll come to you, okay? And I'll tell you what, sometimes things are going to happen that you don't necessarily see uh, coming. And it's going to change the direction for you. It's going to force a hand from one Some thing to another. Just understand that those things come for a reason. Big hint. Some of those right there in my experience, baby, are the best paths. Mm -hmm. Those unpredictable events, you yeah. can change up some things. Right. That's when you got the opportunity to really either go in that way, that way, or continue down your way. Okay? Right. But you only are prepared for those things when they come to you if you continue to meet your part of whatever it is you set out there as your attention. Right? Mm -hmm. So again, if you say, I want to have X degree by or X job by a certain amount of time, and you're plugging away to get the qualifications necessary to get that job, as long as you're following down that path and there's a bend in the path, usually whatever that bend is going to benefit you as long as you've been holding up your side. See, now again, don't set them intentions out there and don't do nothing because you're going to have a fork in the road or something can come up. And instead of you being prepared to take advantage of that, mm you're going to get left behind because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Okay. I, we've all had, you know, intentions fall through and, and things not happen. And I have to be honest with you in most of those occasions, it was probably due to what I was doing or lack of what I was doing to, to, to meet the expectation that I set in my intention. That's on me. Um, and you have to be honest with yourself about that. And you can't always just blame you know, you can't just always blame the, the universe and the ancestors and stars ain't lining up and this and that and everything and all this, the moon's over here. Look, that's all great and all, but if you're not doing your part, you're not going to get it. Every you ain't going to get it. You're not. You're not going to get it. And you have to remember, you don't get everything you ask for the way that you think you're supposed to get it. It might change on you. It just, just because you ask for a green plate don't mean you're going to get green. It might be blue, but it might be the plate you needed. You just asked for it. You didn't know what you was asking for. You had an idea, but you wasn't sure. They handed you the one you actually needed. Be mindful of that. It's funny that you, you, you talk about that. I remember always being told. For the horn. Oh, I'm so sick of Warcraft. That's all I've been hearing, yo. <laughs> It's on playing on the TV while we sitting cutting potatoes and things. And I'm like, really? Y'all have to have it in your face, in your face, huh? Y'all know, during the week when he's not here, y'all yeah. know what I go through. Anywho. Um, unlike you, I set up when I was, especially after I had the boys, Man, I remember working at this job. It sucked. <laughs> God, it sucked. <laughs> but I knew what path I wanted to be on. But at that particular place, mm. at particular time, it sucked. <laughs> so I set it up. I'm like, okay, it's time for me to make a move. Listen. I give you two years. Two years if you ain't elevated this, we keep it pushing around here. Like really. So I lined it up and I was like, okay, I've had the new interview. 
they just open up so I've gotten them in childcare. I don't have to worry about that. All I need to do is give notification to that crappy job that I will no longer be there. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't have to say a word. The that owner job sucked. The owner was like, nah, it's all right. I saw what you did already. You lined everything up. You did your part. So since you did your part, I'm gonna hold it in my end of the bargain. You took all your necessary uh, certifications and everything that you needed in all your classes. For you doing that and me not having to hold your hand. I'm going to give you an extra 50 cent. If you keep working here on top of the dollar I was already receiving. You got options. You have options in everything. Like yeah. for real. It's, fu it's funny. It's funny we, we, we talk about, you know, those situations like that because it's like. We had some doozies, man. Oh, we had some, oh. some crazy. We had some real, yeah, man. Look here. I want to know his nurse Shit ain't been easy, y'all. I told Yo, you. Hey. It took us levels. It's levels of this tell shit. Something. Look, I know about family. Look, I thought I was going to be a professional football player. That shit didn't work. I thought I was going to be an engineer. That didn't work. I thought I was going to do all kinds of banking or something. That didn't work. I done tried about four or five things. Crappy. Ended up in the nurse practitioner position. I tell you what. It's that, been great, that, but, but that brother right was making there. minimum wage for a long but time, that, and I kept putting in work. That in itself was nothing but a blessing. Um, we had, you know, we always debate about everything. Um, it was We were just throwing out careers and everything. Because, you know, we grew up, our generation was you had to have a status. You had to have a title, right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. we give him titles, and he was like, nah, that ain't me. Because black people didn't have, you know... Real good, you know. You you was the you were the manager of something. You were the you know executive to something, man. You know that was it. You know what I mean? Listen, some it wasn't as celebrity as it is now. You know, everything no. now is just a rapper. You just gotta so, be a rapper now. I remember him was like, I could do nursing. I see what Mama do. Let me tell you something right now, y'all. Hey, look, if I get a million, y'all follow me, and I twerk on Instagram for this money. <laughs> Look, I work in the healthcare field, so y'all already know I got to pimp out these medications already. I'm slanging drugs already. I mean, I'm already a crack dealer, so oh there's a little popping and locking. Y'all want to, hey, let me know. Put it in the comment section. You going to give me a million people to pop on Instagram? I'll do it. Listen, y'all. Y'all don't challenge a Leo like that. We are not staying. Y'all know ENTP? You don't challenge that. Okay. I'll do it. Anywho. I don't even know where we, what, what, how do we get there? I don't know. I don't know how we got there anyway. But it's okay. We have beautiful conversations. <laughs> I don't know if that's beautiful, but. <laughs> it is, and I'm going to put it up anyway. Tell him, Tea Back Tuesdays, let's get it. I'm healing them with ass. I'm healing with tea. That's what I'm going to do. I keep telling y'all, unconditional love, compassion, and understanding, babies. Stay laughing. When I tell you, I keep laughing. And through laughter, you heal. You release those endorphins. That's what this is about. Heal your vessel, babe. I done heal mine up. I laugh my ass off every day, all day. They are, this is the fun house. It is. This is like... Jackass on steroids. You see her here. skin? That's why her skin looked like that. Cause I she stay laughing. laughing all the time. Yeah, ain't no makeup on that. It's just that's just how she looks. That's just y'all. Cause people always ask that, like, what you got? What you put on your face? I'm like she don't put nothing on the face. That's just rose how she look. Water. Y'all know I make my own rose. My water. skin look like that too, but you know I'm light skin, so it don't look the same on camera. You know. He better go sit his ass out there, mother guy. <laughs> that's what he better do if he you know like I do. He better go out there and get him some. <laughs> Stop playing. Get you some rose water. Y'all saw me make that video. Rose water, throw you some cinnamon in. It tightens and lightens, baby. <laughs> you don't need to put no paint on the barn. Yeah. Hey, y'all, uh, we just wanted to come with y'all real quick. So, again, I'm running that down again. We're rambling. It's all make, right. Yeah, make your intentions known, okay? But be realistic with your expectations, okay, with those things. 
you got to do your part. That's number three. You yep. have to do your part with this, okay? Mm -hmm. And number four, you might get a fork in the road. You might get a turn. Something might happen that you, you know, Them the ones didn't that expect. Are right but there. if you're doing one, two, and three, number four, elevation gonna lead to a blessing, be triple. man. Elevation be triple. So enough. enough. So enough. All right, y'all. Peeler with T coming at you. T, of course, beautiful. Look at it. Get away. Me, nerd. big nerd. You know what it yeah, is. Yeah, nerd. You know. Get away from me. <laughs> she hates when I do that alright y'all coming to y'all again we'll, we'll hit y'all again next time like I said hit that like button hit, you know let us know in the comments uh, uh, what you guys think about the video your intentions what you're putting out there you know times where you've had to go wrong hell just, just doing you know, my turn yeah and let me know if you're going to do it yeah. follow me hey yeah. let me know if you want the Instagram I'll pop it I'll log it hey million followers hey I'll be an influence I'll influence you to line my pockets alright y'all Peace. <laughs> That's all they do? What is the point? <laughs>